Greetings from the land of the endless sky. I'm Sai, bringing you another episode of Artelanico 2. Uh, so, we are almost done this phase. Just gonna go in here. Ah, knew it. Well then, Croy, how about we raise the level on medical synthesis? I doubt I could do anything that difficult all of a sudden. You see, by doing the difficult things first, your skills will go up quickly. And I'll be a, and I'll be there to watch over it, so you don't need to worry. Well, I guess it should work. Recipe for basic compound has been added. Uh, I'm counting on you during the synthesis, Bicca. If you're counting on me, that does make me feel good. I'll hold your hand through every step of the way. You don't have to go that far. Actually, let's actually do something here. Void. I have enough, but I don't want to buy it right now. Let's go for basic powder. Just the one. And fast forward. Uh, I doubt that. Potion. Just careful not to mistake it for water. Heals 88. Oh, not bad. <laughs> okay, then. Never had to use one of those. Yeah, it does stink. Okay. Pepsi PA. Let's go for some basic compound here. Okay, this sounds actually dangerous. It's a candle. Flammable chemical. Kept away from fire, trying not to get blown away, we finally made fuel. It won't explode when lit up, but it'll burn intensely. What's that supposed to do? Ah, oh, I don't think I made anything useful. Let's progress with the plot. Or not. Pretty sure we can still do this. Yeah, yes, yes. Of 
course. Eh. I'm not too sure. Eh. Ah. It doesn't exist. Cured! That was easy ish. One more. Oop. Mythic therapy. Oh, there's more that I can choose from. And I don't have the required item. Her bar is kind of high. Eh. Party all the way! Oh. It's like I'm doing like something wrong, and then all of a sudden I I'm able to like. Somehow. Flattery. Kindness. Okay. I'm sure he's still alive. <laughs> Maybe not. Eh. Only if you believe. And I'm done. Blood progression. Wow, the end of palace looks like the other place. I've been waiting for you. I was about to send a squad out to find you. Sorry, I was slacking off in town. Jokes aside, Croy, would you come with me, please? Our liege, Prince Sargana, would like to see you in person. And I hate to ask this, but can you wait for us somewhere, Luca? He wishes to see Croy alone. In private. If he wants me to... If he wants to see Croy alone, you just should say alone and not in private. Sorry, Luca. I'll be right back. Okay. It's been a while, hasn't it, Croy? It has. Targana. So it really was you. Mind your tone, Croy. As I told you before, you and I are as different as heaven and tower. <sighs> I'm sorry. So, you have learned humility. <laughs> How time flies. Though I would love to prolong this reunion, sadly, it cannot be. We do not completely accept you into our group. Fair enough. Yeah, I know. Though you may be a friend of the Holy Maiden, you're still a Grand Bell Knight. 
If you plan to join us, are you willing to give up your armor? Why not? Mm. Yes. When I came here, I knew I could never return to the Grand Bell. <laughs> so you do think ahead. Once again, welcome to the Sacred Army. This is indeed a long-awaited reunion. There are many stories to tell. I've cleared up my schedule for you tonight. That just sound wrong. Let us rejoice and converse. Pardon me. Sir Croy, the lady would like to see you when you're done here. Luca? What happened to her? It seems she injured her foot. It's... What? <laughs> All right. Sorry, Prince, but I have to look after Luca. Please excuse me for today. Uh, hey! How did you manage that? All right. Here, let me carry you on my back. Thank you. <laughs> you really are nice. Seriously, after all she said, how can you still have feelings for her? She didn't really mean it. Let's just rest for now. If you sleep well, you'll be able to walk tomorrow. Okay. Oh, by the way, the prince himself wants to discuss his plans tomorrow. So, you better come. Fine. And we feel well rested and such. And we're all in the front row. Thank you all for gathering today, my elite force. The situation is even more intense now. But we are taking the lead. If we let this chance slip away, we will all regret it later. We will begin our push to fulfill one of our goals. I didn't realize his mouth was moving before this. Which is to silence Infel Pira. In case you didn't know, IPD stands for Infel Pira Dependent. There we go. That's what it stands for. Jeez. It's the name of the virus, not the disease. Long ago, the people created the Infelpira. This paranormal power booster was designed for use by Ravitales. Ravitales who earned the right to use it gain mystical powers. In those harsh times, those who qualified were called IPDs. However, its existence anchored the goddess we destroyed the bulk of it. Ever since then, IPD has caused various abnormal effects. Then why did she destroy it if it was going to cause no abnormal effects? As long as the Infel Pira is operational, IPD outbreaks will continue. What's even worse is the Grand Bell Army is trying to abuse this power. As of now, the Infel Pira is of no help to us. Therefore, we will use the power of the goddess to finish it off. And by putting our holy maid into this task, order shall be restored. Makes sense, I guess. To explain our plan of attack, Sir Shun. In all honesty, our plan isn't that complicated. We just need our holy maiden to use the hymn crystal hibernation. Hibernation is the only song that can stop Infelpira. The hymn crystal itself is stored in a certain facility. I'm talking about the tall white ruin called the Conductor Activator. Our mission today is simply to retrieve that hymn crystal. That is all. Now, this makes me Listen wonder... Up, all of you! The goddess is on our side! What you would be doing if you chose the other side. For 700 years, we've obeyed her and have prospered thus far. And now, in order to fight the worst government in history, she has sent us her own servant. Now we can fulfill our part of the treaty. 
We will revive relations between us and the goddess. Boss, pay, raw, ham, men, joy! What he said! Boss, pay, raw, ham, and joy! What he said again! Hmm. Now, is everybody ready? Most of you will be heading to the Grand Bell. As for the mission to find the Hymn Crystal, Croy, I leave that to you. What happens to the IPDs after I sing hibernation? Well, they will all exhibit different symptoms. For low-level IPDs, maybe nothing. But high-level IPDs might... collapse. No way. Are you having second thoughts about your part? Let me assure you of one important fact. For the rest of human history, no one will ever suffer from IPD again. So, the positives would outweigh the negative. I have to sing, knowing there will be victims. If you don't sing, there will be many more. But that's... I can't make that decision. And she runs. <sighs> Has the Holy Maiden agreed? She is deep in thought. As expected. What's the matter? She's so innocent. I feel bad for lying to her. It can't be helped. It's for the greater good. I guess you're right. She's being lied to? Lied! Well, I guess it's just us four. Croy, Amory, Kakona, and me. If only Shun could come with us too. I'm glad he's not here. Huh? Amory? Don't you like Shun? It's not that I don't like him, it's just... You know... Ever since the Divine Messenger came, the Sacred Army's changed. And it bugs me. Is that so? Yeah. Before, we fought for the downfall of the Alphan Regime and the eradication of IPD. But recently, it's all about this treaty and the Grand Bell traditions or whatnot. Hmm... Are depending on us doing what we're told, right? Well, yeah. Then let's get going. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What is it now? Um, sorry. I know we have a mission and I feel really bad about it, but I have a favor to ask. Ask away. What kind of favor? Before we go to the ruins, can we stop by Rakshak? With all we're doing, I can't handle my other job, so... I wanted to let Mrs. Lar and the others know. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thanks. Then, to rack check, I guess. Amori has rejoined the group. Although, uh, let's see the formation. What? A bad. Ha! Ha! No way! I do not accept that. I guess I don't get to choose my destination. Anyway. Awkward silence moment. Well, everyone's asleep. Yeah. More awkward silence. Hey, Croy. Why did you join the Sacred Army? Because I made a promise. What? That I'd protect you. Uh, but that was like five years ago. I don't put expiration dates on promises. How can you have so much faith in, Or... How can you have much faith in... Or so... Yeah, I was saying it right the first time. I really said some terrible things in that prison cell, eh. Like, I only got close to you so I could find my sister. It's true that I only wanted to see my little sister. It, and it's true I wanted you to take me to Pastilla. But... 
the I never really liked you part was a lie. Interesting. Ha. Huh. Hey, Croy. Yeah? Can we start over from the hi, nice to meet you part? No, it's too late for that. I'm sorry I dragged this along. Let's get through it. It's it fast. Ugh. And I'm ending the episode here. Tune in again for more Artelenico 2. I like how it has me uh, focused on the dive shop first. Well, I guess that's where we need to go. I'm not going to argue with that, okay, anyway.